<laughs> howdy cloudies! I changed the intro again. Deal with it. Yeah, someone's been saying howdy cloudy in the comments and I just thought it worked perfectly because when in the clouds, clouds, cloudy, howdy, I'm from Texas, it all works. So the day started out pretty normal. I kind of just took a nice little nap in my dream pod, plugged it in, everything was fine, until the apartment had an electrical outage. And because of this, my dream pod had an electric current and I got trapped in the world that I was currently in. So it made the dream world into a reality world and <laughs> luckily the place that I was dreaming of was an actual real tangible place. Otherwise I would have been lost forever to the mists of time. Mists of time. But while I was on the planet, I found something really exciting that I have not seen in at least like half a millennia. Are you ready for this? Da -da -da -da. I found limited edition space can flowers. Oh my gosh. Don't you just feel nostalgic for your childhood when you were just on Swingalala, just planting all the flowers in tin cans and before the monk collapse got you and ate all your crops and then you cried and your parents told you, shut up Quinlan, you're not supposed to cry. Tears kill our kind, just me. <laughs> so now it did kind of get a little bit roughed up on the way back because a certain space ogre decided that it wanted it, but not to worry, I managed to get away with it in the scuffle even though I did lose my left foot. Not to worry though, it should grow back. But yeah, side note, I reshaved my legs again. It really depends on the day. Some days I wake up and I'm just like, I want to feel feminine and I want to shave my legs and blah blah blah. And then other days I'm like, no, I want nice hairy legs and I want to be able to just like walk outside and not have anyone care, blah blah blah. What even is gender expression? What is life? Am I right? Ugh. And I thought that since the electrical fuse made me lose all of my progress on the video that I had planned on posting yesterday, I would just make a nice little video of me with this little space flower and just rambling about crap. Also stick around because I've got an important poll question thing that I want you guys to answer, so... Blah. Now, I'm pretty bad at keeping any sort of plants alive, especially earth plants. Kinda killed my Bulbasaur, sorry Nina. Although I do partially blame the fact that the container has holes in the bottom and I didn't know that, so when I watered it, the water would just go right through. Didn't actually get to the plant. So whoops. <laughs> if you've been on the channel for a while, you might remember our good old friend Whimsy, and she is still doing perfectly fine, as you can tell. Probably still alive though, because she doesn't actually require watering. All she requires to grow is the fact that I daydream, and uh, I do that constantly, so it's no wonder that she is still thriving. Bye, Whimsy. But since Whimsy is technically not an earth plant, I thought maybe I might have better luck with space plants, so let's find out. It was two crepids and 49 trents. Should have gotten more, but you know, I kind of had to leave because of the stampeding mark. The instructions, because we all know how important that is. These are not in English. <sighs> oh, luckily I have my alien language to English translator, so I'm just gonna take a scan of this and convert it into English. Those are just pictures, you worthless piece of garbage. Also, you suck, lol. Okay, that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> Forget it, who needs this? <laughs> Whoops. So, um, not totally sure. Ooh, this part comes off. Perfect. Oh, here are the instructions. The Steps one, two, and three will need adult supervision. I need an adult. I'm a adult. Does that count? <laughs> but I'm t <clears throat> Step one, remove plastic lid from bottom of can. But if I didn't remove the lid from the bottom of the can, how would I have gotten the instructions to remove the lid from the bottom of the can? Space logic, huh? <laughs> Step two, open the drainage tab on bottom of the can. Don't litter, lift ring, push back, please recycle. What? This is hard. I really hope it doesn't like spew dirt all over because as we all know, space dirt is like litter and herpes. It gets everywhere. It's just kind of cracked open, see? It's like, how am I supposed to? Oops, there goes the lid. Oh no, I littered, it fell on the floor. What do I do? Ah, I'm gonna get, I don't want to get attacked by the space police again. Not twice in the same day. Oof. I don't want to get my parole officer involved. Ugh. I don't have any nails. How am I supposed to get this thing out? Oh, no wonder that I can't get this out. <laughs> All the people on the planet that I stole this from have claws. It should be easy to do this. Oh God, now I'm bending it. Oh God, oh God, oh God. There's like tiny rocks coming out. What the frick did I do? <sighs> okay, I don't know if that was supposed to come off. I don't know if I was just supposed to like undo the seal. Shoot. I'm gonna grab a napkin. In the meantime, ooh, pretty rocks on my right. Okay, I'm back again with the napkin. Are you ready for this, by the way? Yay! Ah, space magic, right? 
just as dumb looking as earth magic. Because <laughs> it's not real magic. Freaking magicians with their magic tricks? Yeah, it's not, it's not how magic works, bud. All right, sit right there. I'm sure I've already messed you up and ruined you, but let's just move on with the instructions. I don't know why I'm singing. We're trying to sound off soulful and wise. Open and remove the lid from the top of the can. Okay, I think I can do that. Y'all ready for this? Oh, it's like soda. Don't drink it. What the frick frack? It's all those tiny little rock things. I guess it's kind of dirt. That's not what space dirt looks like. Space dirt is not all the same color. Just saying, it changes colors. I don't know, maybe it's gone bad because it's traveled so far. Can you imagine the places that this guy's gone? Step number four, add water until excess water drains from the bottom. Do I want water to drain out of the thing? Might as well try, right? I've been pouring plants with water as long as I can remember. Never really know why. Have y'all seen Moana? Oh my god, I love it so much. And not just because it's Lin-Manuel Miranda who wrote the music because Hamilton. It's good and I love it. Okay, the bottom's damp. That's what she said? God, I hope I'm not overwatering. Oh God, the whole can's gonna go, oh God, okay, it's filling, it's filling, it's filling. All right, I'm gonna let water drain out into this little thing and then I'm gonna dump that thing out. While we wait, um, how are you? What sort of thing are you into lately? Oh, Breath of the Wild. Screw you, you have a Switch and I don't have one. I don't get to play Zelda and I want to because there's a new Zelda. It's Breath of the Wild. It looks gorgeous and it's amazing. And I've heard awesome things about the story and I want it. I want it. But I don't have money for a Switch and I don't have money for the game in the first place. But then I have to buy the Switch and the game and that's too much money. I don't have money, so what? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Everything's great. In the meantime, though, if you also don't have a Switch and you're looking for a cool game with like a cool story or whatever, try Night in the Woods because oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited about Night in the Woods. I watched Jacksepticeye play a little bit and then I bought the game because I didn't want any spoilers. I just wanted to play it for myself. Same thing I did when I started watching Game Grumps do Undertale. I watched like a tiny bit of it and then I was like, nope, I'm gonna go play this for myself. But seriously, Night in the Woods is amazing. It's so good. Plus, awesome thing is that Greg and Angus are a gay couple and they're freaking adorable. And also the main character, May, is confirmed by the creator to be pansexual. What? What in positive LGBT representation? <laughs> but all of that aside, because I'm sure you guys are tired of me ranting about that stuff. One awesome thing though, is that like with games like this, like Life is Strange, the game might be awesome, but the writing is just so lackluster that you're like, ugh, I have to get through this and it's kind of cringe or whatever. But Night in the Woods has really good writing. The things that the characters say are believable and they're so funny. Oh my God, the humor in the game, it's so good. I feel like everyone can probably relate to May on some level. One of my favorite lines of hers is, I'm a total trash mammal. This should be done, right? Oh gosh, yeah, I'm gonna go drain this. Ooh, it's weird, the dirt is kind of like greener now. The dirt is always greener in the other can. Why is there all this blue powder? See, this is what space dirt normally looks like. I mean, if you take it out of space, it just stays in the color that it was when you left it. So time to see the next step. Number five, replace the plastic cap on the bottom of the can. Oh, I already did that. Oh, right, nearly forgot the poll. Which category of the content that I make do you enjoy watching the most and would you like for me to make more of the most? Because I want to continue making a bunch of different types of things, but I also don't want it to be so widespread that people don't know what they're going to expect from my channel. So pick one of those in the poll. Yeah, so let me... Oh look, we've got a little sprout. It worked. Oh my gosh, it's growing. That is really exciting. Oh my goodness. It might even be done by the end of this video. Ooh. Before I go, one last little bitty announcement. People have been asking me, what social media do you have that I can follow? So I'm gonna link on the channel, link in the description, and put on the screen here. I have a Twitter and a Tumblr. Those are the ones that I'm actually active on. So yeah, follow me on any of those. Would love to get to know you guys better. Yay. Any hoozles, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, it grew! Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! They said it couldn't be done in one day, but I guess I could with my can-do attitude. Take the puns, reverse, put them back in the back of your head pocket, and never take them out. I'm so sorry. But as always, have a beautiful day full of magic and joy. Bye! <laughs> You caught my eye, and I've got a feeling I'm falling. Show me.
me the ring and I'll jump right through.